Hello, today we're going to be talking about infection in the fourth of this series of Heal Your Gut. Infection can mean four things. As far as I'm concerned, it can mean that you've got pathogens, which is bad bacteria. You can have viruses, HPV, EBV, herpes simplex, they all play a part in cancers. You can have yeasts, and finally you can have parasites. I'm gonna call them infection. Now I've told you before that what actually happens is whenever you get a cancer, you've lost the volume of good guys and you've lost strains, family members of good guys. And as a result, or in coincidence with this, bad guys come out to play. So for example, in breast cancer, we know that people have lost virtually the whole of the family of lactobacillus and they've lost methylobacterium as well. We know this from two different studies. But on the other hand, they've got much larger volume of E. coli and HPV and uh, Staphylococcus um, variety. And it's exactly what I've just been saying. You get lots of this and the, good, and the bad guys come up. Um, in colorectal cancer, we know that people with colorectal cancer have lost a clostridium family member. And this does a really clever thing. It seems to bind to fibers and whatever and kick excess sugar out of your body before it gets into the bloodstream, clever. But also people with colorectal cancer have got very high levels of fusobacterium and E. coli, bad guys, pathogens. And uh, Otago microbiome have shown that there are three types of colorectal cancer. And in every case, the gang leader of the bad guys is called fusobacterium. And in two of the three cases, its left tenant is E. coli. So this is kind of a pattern emerging. Then, in fact, in pancreatic cancer, we know that this is linked to oral uh, bacteria. So people with gum problems, for example, get more pancreatic cancer. And we also know that there's a yeast or fungus that's involved and on its surface it carries a carbohydrate called MBL. And we know that before you get a pancreatic cancer, there's a rush of bacteria, pathogens and so on from your gut to around your pancreas, a thousand fold increase. And it carries with it this yeast and it has this carbohydrate called MBL, and they've put MBL into pancreatic healthy cells, and lo and behold, you get carcinogenesis. So we know a lot of these things are going on. It doesn't matter where the cancer is. If it's in your lungs, you've got a gut-lung axis. So the bacteria that are in your gut tend to be the same ones that are in your lungs, in, in your airways. If you get a brain um, problem, brain tumour, then again, you've got a gut-brain axis. And we know, for example, there's a high level of, of parasites in brain tumours. So that's the kind of picture of what's going on. Now, the good news is you can kill yeast, you can kill pathogens, you can kill parasites. Harder to kill viruses, but there are a few things. So you can kill all these things. So just to reiterate, there are four types of infection, and those infections are bad bacteria, pathogens, yeasts, viruses, and parasites. Now, there's one last little point I'd like to make. Their mRNA, their microRNA, can trump your microRNA. And I do get patients who've been told by the hospital, well, that's it, it's all over, finish, you've got cancer now, so, so what if he goes and kills the bad guys? Well, I think Jeff Boycott would disagree with that. Jeff Boycott was probably the first person I ever helped. And he had a tumour on the back of his tongue and they were going to go and break his jaw and they were going to go in and cut out the tumour and give him chemo and radio. And when he came on the phone to me, this is absolutely true story, um, I said to him, well, you know, do you smoke? It's a really weird place to get cancer. Do you smoke? No. Nope. Do you drink? Don't be bloody stupid is what he said to me. I think that means he does. And then I said, do you use mouthwash, alcohol-based mouthwash? No. So I couldn't think of anything else. So I remember saying to him, my little joke, I said, when you were in India or Bangladesh or Pakistan or whatever, did you ever get the runs? And he said, all the bloody time. So I said, well, I tell you what, and I built him a little program of diet and exercise and, and supplements and so on. And in the middle of it, I put parasite killer. And guess what? Eight weeks later, when I walked into Leeds Royal Infirmary, they were bloody embarrassed, is what he said to me. His tumour had gone right down. Now, the microRNA and the toxins from the parasite were feeding the cancer, and the cancer was there, right? And as soon as you took away the problem, the cancer went down. So I'm not saying he didn't have cancer, he had cancer. 
But this is a guy who was told he would never talk in television again. And I think for good or for bad, I like him a lot. Jeff's there on the television and has been for the last 15 years and he got rid of his cancer. So if you've got a bad guy in you that's causing your cancer, for goodness sake, number one, address it. Because number two, it could just save your life. All right, next time I'm going to be talking about yeast. So thank you very much for listening to me. Bye.